Hey guys, um, today here is my War 8 video, so for today we have a Doom Reed Odin team, um, starting up on path 6, uh, with this War Machine on Return Policy, my plan is to just L3 cycle, uh, do the normal L3 cycle, eat the L3 from War Machine, uh, and then just throw another L3 and it's a pretty easy fight, I mean, you know, it's a war machine with Doom. The only real way he can do damage to you is through his L1 damage over time. So just don't eat an L1 and you're very, very safe here. Uh, alternatively for this fight, you could just go for special twos. Um, and never throw heavies or nullify or anything. But I have a bunch of invulm boosts. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the invulm strat because it's quicker. And yeah. First L3 coming up. And, um, yeah, we're gonna be able to get to our one pretty quick. For some reason, we just don't get any nullifies before the special one. Uh, if we had gotten more, we would have been able to actually get, um, him under three bars. But yeah, it does not a big deal. But yeah, eating the L3 with an invulm. Uh, I will stun afterwards, but it's not a big deal, because look at this. He, even with that massive fury, he's hitting for nothing on his hits. And yeah, uh, we end the fight at 95%, I think it was. Yeah, 95%, so pretty safe fight. Then next up, I've got a Black Widow Deadly Origin. Um, it has Hurt Locker, which is the main thing you want to pay attention to here. Uh, it's a pretty easy fight with Doom. I mean, it's a black with a deadly origin. <laughs> Not much that can really go wrong in this fight. So, yeah. You want to do your best to prevent her from throwing uh, her special one, but if she does throw it, it's not a big deal, since you can hit into the evade at zero risk. So, you know, perfectly fine to eat that anyway. And... Uh, we're just gonna parry heavy for this bit while she's got the evade up, because, you know, uh, might as well just parry heavy to keep it simple. And, yeah, we're building to our special 3 now, and then uh, Black Widow Deadly Origin will die very quickly. She's got a really, really low health pool, so, yeah. And the reason I'm not popping my Odin pre-fights yet is because of the man thing. I don't want the extra buffs for man thing. Um, if you're curious about why I always wait for Odin pre-fights to pop them on the sassy later. And I'm not popping them on these early fights, and yeah. But yeah, Black Widow is dead right there. And next up, we've got the Node 20 man thing again. I take this every single war. Um, very, very easy fight with Doom. Um. It, it, there's really nothing that can go wrong here. It doesn't matter how bad your RNG is or anything. It's just a really easy fight. And yeah. So, your first priority is getting to the L3 while only using 5 hits, which is fairly easy to do on this node. Um, yeah, we're gonna bait this heavy, and then we're just gonna wait out UA. And yeah. Uh, I throw this L3 while he's unstoppable, so I won't actually uh, be able to get the stun after my L3. It's not really an issue on this man-thing fight, because the stun after your L3 doesn't really matter all that much. And it will give some extra mix Mystic Dispersion power immediately, which is fine. Uh, we get our uh, Fury immediately nullified, which is quite annoying. Uh, I would have been able to pretty much close out the fight right there if the Fury stuck. Because I'd have gotten that second Fury L2, and it would have been very, very quick, but yeah. Now we're just waiting for another L3. And we time this so we will get the armor after the L3 for more Mystic Dispersion, and yeah, the fight's pretty much over at this point. Um, pretty bad RNG, but you know, Doom Doom is Doom here. It's, it's a really, really easy fight. And yeah. Uh, we want to get off our L2, of course. 
and fight is over. <laughs> um, yeah, take this like every war, really, really nice fight for Doom. Alright, yeah, next up, I've got this Power Snack Doom with Reed. I turned on 3 out of 3 Petrify and a Power Star 1 for this. Um, and first up, it actually gives me the kind of connection timed out uh, where it gives you where it like looks like a timeout. But thankfully, it didn't actually time out and lose an attack bonus. It just gave me that scare, I think. the So yeah, you see this, it just immediately says timed out. Um... But it didn't actually lose any attack bonuses, so it's perfectly fine, but it did give me quite a scare. So I check and make sure that I didn't lose any attack bonus from that, and I didn't, but yeah. <coughs> uh, that one death was not from that fight, so... You know, I knew I didn't lose the attack bonus yet. So now we're going back in, I'm gonna get the fight done. And I'm going for a PS1, and we just immediately eat three hits, so great... Great start, you know. Um, just fantastic start, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, we get our first still two up, and now the fight's gonna be pretty hard to lose. Um, from this point onward. And yeah, he's gonna be getting barely any power because we've got three out of three uh, petrify. So even at the early stages of these suppression debuffs. He really doesn't gain much power, and he dexes this after a counter, which is another mistake there. I make a lot of mistakes this fight, um, yeah. But Reed's great for the fight, and he's got a bunch of safety nuts, so even if he plays poorly as I'm playing here, it's not too bad. And yeah, third side of debuffs up, and now we're gonna build to our L3. And after we get to our L3, we're just gonna try and close out the fight with an L1 for some more debuffs. And yeah, we eat a heavy there, but we take barely any damage, which is nice. Even if it had crit, I don't think it would have done all that much damage. And we would have had enough to survive, so... Not the end of the world eating that heavy. And yeah, we get the careful study passive up. Pretty much ready to go into our L3. And yeah, the L3 will refresh those debuffs, of course, and... Do some pretty chunky damage. I am punching up a rank here, so it is pretty slow, but I mean, it's a perfectly safe matchup anyway. And yeah. Um. Going for those uh, ones, like I said now, and. They'll refresh the debuffs as well and give more uh, debuffs to reverse willpower healing further. So they will actually speed the fight up quite a bit. And yeah, we throw another a one to end the fight here with all of those debuffs up. And yeah, we got a bunch of read debuffs for our later fights and to help out um, the rest of the group with some read, deb read debuffs on other fights. See, so yeah, I just check and make sure that, yeah, that didn't lose the attack bonus. We have all the attack bonus from that fight. Um, and then we've got this Sassy up next. Uh, I, I popped the Odin pre-fights to get that aptitude for the Fury, of course. And, yeah, the same 26 Sassy that I've taken a bunch of times now. Um, Doom is fantastic for this fight. Um, I, I have a really rough fight this time, but, I mean, it's Doom, so his tankiness just... Let's you survive so many mistakes here. Um, I would definitely say Doom is the best counter to this fight. And yeah. Uh, well, with UA, when UA goes away, it's going to be much easier to use other champions. Because UA is a big part of the reason why Doom is so good here. Just because you get all of that extra power from the armors. And it makes a pretty big difference against Sasquatch. Uh, so I definitely wouldn't want to do this matchup post-removal of UA, but while well, UA is here, it's a great matchup. And yeah. Uh, getting some, getting a pretty nice start with a lot of good intercepts, and then I have a game lag there, and that's, that's scary. And uh, we go for an intercept here, but he gives really weird AI, so I just back off. And yeah, still just backing off. And he did that. 
Um, I don't know why I hit in there, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, it did barely any damage to Doom. And yeah, here's my L3. Um, he's stun again, but he is in Wrath, so I will get a bunch of damage back from the power back since the L3 will get full damage. And I should be able to reach to my L2. I remember having a really rough time reaching my L2 here, but I do end up reaching it, so, you know, not the end of the world. Yeah, this is where I made the mistake. I should not have thrown that L1. I had no reason to. And now I'm just eating hits in the corner, which is never a good idea. But again, it's Doom, so you can eat those hits comfortably. And now we're just ending out the fight. And he is given really bad AI, so I really do not um, have the feeling like um, that I could go for the L3 there. Uh, though I probably could have at that point. And uh, I was expecting a dash in here, uh, but he didn't dash in, so we didn't get the power steal. So that's going to make the fight a little bit slower. But yeah, we, we're, we're going to be able to end the fight out pretty shortly at this point. We, we're still at 60% health, which is just stupid for how bad I played this fight to still be at 60% health, you know? And when this expires, we throw our L2, and it's in Wrath, so we'll get all the incinerate damage, and fight is over. A uh, really sloppy fight, but Doom is just amazing for the fight, so it's not a big deal. And then here, I'm using Odin for this Colossus. Um, just letting Rich get Richer do all of the work, throwing L3s and then throwing L2s, it's... A really, really easy matchup with Odin. <laughs> My main thing I want to do is make sure I'm not parrying while he is already unstoppable, because that gives an immunity, which can let him trigger an armor up from the Sig. And yeah, that's that's the main thing you want to look out for here, is to not do that. And yeah, just want to slow play this fight mostly. Get our ult 3s and get our ult 2s to finish the fight. And, you know, he's, he's great for this fight. Because he's so damn tanky, and he just, it's a Colossus, so, I mean, that's, it's always going to be a pretty easy fight. Um, but yeah. And now we're going to build to our L2. I get the Energize buff for an extra buff for the L2 damage. Um, and yeah, we're waiting out UA. Uh, we don't get the dex before this, but it's not the end of the world. Still going to do really good damage. And yeah, building up to our second L2, and uh, if I had 200% Cosmics here, it would be uh, even quicker, but um, of course I'm popping Mystics for the surrounding fights, so I'm not going to use a Cosmic here. And the fight is now over uh, with the final L2, and yeah, great fight for Odin. And next up we have this Venom. Uh, uh, with the Rich Get Richer, we have Odin pre-fights and Raid pre-fights and the Raid Synergy here, which is going to just super boost our damage. I'm only going to heal up this much and then just use a combat regen for the rest of the healing, because it's a Venom with Doom, and you're, you're going to see why. Yeah, the fight is just over so quickly. Um, we're popping Petrify and DOT since I have so many extra pre-fights. You see I've got seven there, and I didn't need any pre-fights at all for this war, so I've just got seven extra, um, and yeah, and then we've got a pretty easy Venom fight, um, you want to get your L2s going, uh, first with an L1, so you get the Aura of Hazareth, so, um, you're, they're unblockable, and so Venom just doesn't gain power from them, of course, and yeah, I'm gonna wait out that first Clintar cycle, and yeah, here, Probably should have done a heavy there to remove the armor up, and that would have given me more power, but it, it's whatever. I mean, we get our second L2 anyway, and the fight is just over. Uh, really, really easy fight with Doom. Um, and yeah, next up, we have a Cersei on 50. Um, it's a pretty easy fight with Doom. Definitely one of the best options. You pretty much just parry heavy and throw L3s and L2s as you get the power. Um... And since it's Doom, there's there's really not much that can go wrong here at all. Um, and yeah, these are the boosts I have on still, just making sure I still had them on, because if I didn't have them on, we were going to have our hood player take this fight, since 
that's just how things lined up, uh, but instead I'm taking it on since my boost stuck, and yeah, um, uh, Doom is great here, uh, just parry heavy, you can mix in combos, mediums, whatever, just keep those staggers up, and that's your main goal here, and now I'm, I get Aura of Hazard, uh, just in case I miss the L1 dexes, because I miss those a lot, so you could resist them, and yeah, that's the reason I'm throwing that L1 there. And yeah, I did practice the L1 decks a bit before here, so I was fairly confident going in on those dexes, um, but wanted to be safe with that aura, just to make sure I get in the flow of the fight before anything. And yeah, uh, we're going to be working to get our L2 after this L3, of course. Um, since it's on safeguard, Mystic Powerbacks really don't do much here, and that slows down the fight quite a lot. Um, still perfectly fine and yeah here she gets the true damage up which is helpful because that means more dis mystic dispersion for me to just abuse and yeah you see how much damage that l2 is doing with the debuff siphoners and the reed synergy you just get so much damage um and i go for an, a second l3 just because it felt best in this fight um i'm sure the fight would be perfectly fine to just end with l2s at that point i mean probably one or two L2s would have done it anyway. But yeah, we just go for a second L3. And we're going to build to our L2. And the fight will be over. And yeah, you see. Uh, we throw this. I'm not great at the L2 decks, so getting rid of the L2 decks. I mean, it doesn't matter because, again, we've got aura and everything. But... Uh, always better to just dex the L1, and fight is over. So yeah, pretty decent war for me.